Hi, it's Nick here from Toad Hall Books and Records, and it's time for the new vinyl roundup. Every week we go through all of the new releases as well as the restock we got in here at the store. And this week we got a lot. I got three crates this week. A lot of great restock, a lot of great new releases. If you like Record Store Day news, the RSD list just dropped yesterday. You can check out my channel. There's a video talking about that. Um, hit that like subscribe button to, if you like vinyl and record store day and audio file stuff because we cover it all right here on the total channel so let's get into it <clears throat> blue new blue note here home cooking incredible jimmy smith audio oh, it's the uh, blue note classic vinyl series remastered from the original analog tapes 27 dollars uh i don't know i think this is new to my store i don't think i've had this in but man, they're putting them out so fast, I'm having a hard time keeping up. All right, Blink-182, Dude Ranch on colored vinyl. I haven't had this record in quite some time. I only got a couple of them. I got 31 bucks. It's an early Blink-182 record. I thought Joe Z was on here, pathetic. Um, if you're a Blink fan, you probably already know about it. But uh, kind of a hard one to, to, to grab right now. Did get some restock of Steve Ray Vaughan 2LP 45 RPM Soul to Soul by Analog Productions. Some of the best records on the planet, $61. I have these in stock and I also, if you go over to my website, the audio file, audio file corner is where I put all my audio file records. I do have a used one step over there. Um, I don't think it's this one, but I, I do have a Steve Ray Vaughan one step over there. Prince just keeps pumping out the new records. They've been on a huge reissue campaign lately. This one is uh, Around the World in a Day. Has the original flap. You can see that it's, it's uh, it'll be loose as soon as you open the shrink wrap. $28, Around the World in a Day, Paisley Park, Raspberry Beret being the huge hit off of this one. Features the top 10 hits. Pop Life was also a big one. Just got that in this week. Arctic Monkeys, Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. The one after AM, $26. Single LP, looks like it's a gatefold back in stock. What's the story? Morning Glory, Oasis' is Masterpiece, $36, two LP set. It is a tri-fold. So you get a little extra for your money. $36, bucks, grab it before they uh, up the prices, because, man, they have been up in prices left and right. <clears throat> Springsteen, E Street Band, No Nukes Concert. It's the legendary complete. This is a restock, guys. 2LP set from 1979, but I believe... No, it's just a really thick bifold. It's the entire 90-minute performance on 2LPs. Doors, Strange Days, single LP, Mono Master. $26. You're probably asking, why would I want it on mono? Because all the records from this era, the 60s, certain mid-60s, uh, were originally recorded in mono, and somebody in the studio just decided to make it stereo themselves because stereo was a hot selling point. So originally made and mastered and mixed in mono, um, it, it'll actually sound like what we call true stereo. It'll sound the way it's supposed to be, but um, back then it was called mono. Grant Green Alive. If you want to know more about true stereo, mono, stereo, the difference... 60s the mid to late 60s there's just google it you'll find a lot big description the, all the beatles records are that way um the early beatles records are heavily known monkeys records all that kind of stuff from that era is kind of that way grant green alive hard record to get right now 27 dollars. this is the german press uh blue note recorded in new york new jersey but great record kind of tough to find all right finally some new stuff Crumbin, Leon Bridges had a hit with Texas Sun. They now have Texas Moon, the follow-up. $21. It is an all-new record. It has five songs on this one. I have not listened to it because it came in and I'm filming this right away. But it's sure to go into my collection because I love both these guys. I love Crumbin. I love Leon Bridges. Highly recommend it that you check out both of the artists independently. I'm definitely going to check out Texas Moon. That's going to be my first thing to play this week. Here's some more restock. Songs of Faith and Devotion, Depeche Mode, 23 bucks. 
Cut those back in. Radio head in rainbows. The whole radio head catalog went up in price. So they are now $36. If you got a local store, well, they're probably, they've probably pretty much been sold out everywhere for a long time. Um, but uh, I did get them back in stock because pretty much all Radiohead has been selling like crazy. Um, so I'm finally starting to get them back in. And of course, they raised the price. That's across the board. That's from the catalog, from the label. Blakey Monin, the Blue Note Classic Vinyl Series. You guys buy the snot out of these. $26. I'm pretty much restocking these almost every week at this point. Um, I did get a batch back in. Be aware that there is a $23 version that is not the Blue Note Classic Vinyl version. You want the $26 version from my website. That's the better sounding one. Metallica, kill them all. First, the album that started it all, Metallica, 26 bucks. I just got these in. Uh, I'm actually pretty loaded up on Metallica right now, which is cool because it's, been, it's been pretty empty lately. Taylor Swift and Record Store Day Ambassador 2022. Uh, we got restock on Folklore, 31 bucks. Got a bunch of Beatles in, guys. I have been starving for Beatles records for a while lately. Beatles for Sale, 27. We got Let It Bees back in at, uh, what are these, 27? I think they're all probably going to be 27 bucks. Here's Yellow Submarine, same price. Please Please Me, same price. And the White Album, the 2LP Master. The 2LP Masterpiece, $41 for the 2LP. And I noticed these aren't the Giles Martin presses. These are the stereo. It looks like they have the original stereo sticker on, which is a pressing that they did. And at this point, it's been yeah, 09, 2012. Um, I'm surprised that these even showed up. I, I don't, I'm surprised that they're even making these now that there's a newer master available of the White Album. I don't know why we're getting the older version, but I've had them all in back order and they showed up. So I'm glad to have them. I haven't had them in a while. Smith's Louder Than Bombs restock, $33, two LP set. We're gonna get some new stuff in here. Let's switch over to this crate. Soul Asylum, Let Your Dim Light Shine. The 1995 Smash featuring Misery, dark purple vinyl pressing, $32. David Crosby's got a new one for free. It's not actually for free. It's $26. It is a single LP set. Has some interesting artwork there. Nice little watercolor, I think, of, uh, of the Cross man. Here's one, Bob Weir. If you're a deadhead, you know him. Bob Weir and Wolf Brothers, live in Colorado. Limited edition, colored vinyl. It's a third man record press, $31. Is it two LP? It feels, it, eh, maybe it's just a single LP. Um, anyway, Bob Weir and the Wolf Brothers put out a record. BB King in London. There's a bunch of BB King getting reissued lately. Thirty-six dollars. This record was actually recorded at Abbey Road. That's why it's got the. That's why it looks like it says you know, Abbey Road right there, and it's why it's called in London. Single LP, gatefold, $36. Blink-182's Greatest Hits. Getting some restock on Blink here. $37, two LP set. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a one and done, guys. If you're, if you're a Blink, maybe if you're just getting into them, great way to pick up all their hits, $37. And I had some of these come in last week and they blew out the door. Avenged Sevenfold Nightmare. 10th anniversary, all of these Avenged Sevenfold records, they're doing the whole catalog. They have all been selling very well. In fact, I think this is the only one I got in stock. Uh, 10th anniversary, Transparent Blue, $29. ACDC Power Age, 23 bucks. Still very affordable, single LP. I told you I'm getting restocked on Metallica, guys. Ride the Lightning, $26. Number one thrash metal album of all time. For Whom the Bull Tolls, Fade to Black, Creeping Death. 26 bucks. Chaim, Women in Music Part 3. $29. This is the, the sister's third album. They do a phenomenal job. Seen them in concert a few times. Check them out. Chaim, H-A-I-M. Twins and then an older sister. It's 
the three of them. Fear of Music by the Talking Heads. Classic album, back on vinyl. $26. It is an embossed cover, which gives it that original feel to it. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. The first album of CSN, even though they're not sitting in the right order. It is a gatefold. It is $26. And it's one that should probably be in every collection. I'll say that. It's a, it's a classic. UB40, Unemployment Benefits card. How about that? I think it's actually called Signing Off. $37, 2OP set. I don't know that I've ever had an original. If I have, maybe I've only had it one or two times. Kind of a hard record to get. 37 bucks. John Lennon's Classic Imagine. Back on vinyl. Unlimited. The Ultimate Mix is 2LP White Vinyl, 50th Anniversary Limited Edition, $41. I don't remember it having this sticker. I think that's new. Maybe it's because it's white vinyl. I don't know. 50th Anniversary, though. White Light, White Heat, Velvet Underground, mastered at Abbey Road Studios, $36, single LP set. Of course, you don't have too many options if you're looking for Velvet Underground right now. Or Cream, really. Goodbye Tour, Cream, live at the Forum. $40 from 1968. Two LP set. This is a new release. I'm happy to see it because Cream records are really hard to get and even harder to get in good condition. ABBA. ABBA has a remaster of their record. Two LP set, $41. It is Half Speed Mastered at Abbey Road Studios. 41 bucks. All right, Beth Hart has two. That's right, two out this week. So we got Fire on the Floor, and we got Better Than Home. This one's limited edition transparent vinyl, and this one is also transparent vinyl, Fire on the Floor. Are they both the same price? Both $29. Beth Hart. Uh, she's touring, she has a lot of stuff with Joe Bonamassa. So, very cool to see those single records back out. I never had them before. Evie Cassidy, Songbird, Deluxe Gatefold 2LP, 2021 remaster, 180 gram, 45 RPM. 2LP, you can see right here, $41. Another one I've never had in the store before. The Who's Greatest Hits, Colored Vinyl Edition. $26. It's got all their hits. Magic Bus, Pinball Wizard, Happy Jack, Anyhow, Anywhere, Anyhow, Anyway, Anyhow, Anywhere, Who Are You, Substitute, Marvin Gaye, Heard It Through the Grapevine, $26, single LP. Soundgarden, $36, two LP set. I'm... All the Soundgarden records are really hard to get right now. The only other one I have is a live at the forum over on the website. 36 bucks. Fall Out Boy. I haven't had this one in quite some time. American Beauty, American Psycho on color to vinyl. Finally got these back in. Been a long time since I've had them. $31. This is another one of my favorites this week. Maze, the classic live album. Colored Vinyl Edition, $41 on Colored Vinyl. I don't think I've ever had an original of this, ever. So, happy to see Maze reissues coming out. All right, that crate's empty. Let's get into the next one. We've hit this one pretty hard. Some more restock. Crumbin, Mordecai, my favorite record of, I believe, 2020. That's my favorite record right there, 2020. Check them out. Uh, it's phenomenal. Echo and the Bunnymen, Songs to Learn and Sing. I have a bunch of Echo in right now. They've been reissuing their whole catalog. $26. This is the first time I've had this one back in, though. Annihilator Metal 2. 07's Metal Album, Reinvented. 2LP, colored vinyl, $37. Um, pretty much everyone from Exciter, Annihilator, Toxicator, Joe Thrasher, Put it together, two LP set. All right, here's a big seller right here. Harry Styles, self-titled. 
thirty dollars. Um, gatefold, yep, gatefold. I had them in last week, sold out of them in just a couple days. Got another batch in this week. Joe Pass for Django. If you're following the uh, Blue Note Tone Poet series, this is the newest title. Forty dollars. You know they do an excellent job. Kevin Gray cuts them from the original analog tapes. Always going to sound good. Todd Rundgren presents the ever popular tortured artist effect. Friday music, $36. It comes in a sleeve. It doesn't come shrink wrapped. I'm going to guess it's probably on colored vinyl because a lot of times uh, uh, Friday music does it on colored vinyl. All right. Here is a new one. Here's some homework for you guys. Shovels and ropes. One of my great discoveries throughout the years. They've put out a ton of records. Um, it's kind of southern rocky, kind of grungy, gritty uh, music from kind of central Tennessee, southern part of the country. $24. They got a new one out. Mastered for vinyl. Free album download inside. The album is called Manticore, obviously, with the image on there. But do, please do check them out. Shovels and Ropes. Shovels and Rope. Um, they got a lot of albums, but very much underrated band. <coughs> Excuse me. I need some. Merrill, Marilyn Fugazi is the name of the album. $23. Gatefold. Um, I got the, how about that for artwork there? Circle Jerks got a reissue, deluxe vinyl edition, limited edition, Wild in the Streets, $31. They reissued their other record uh, a couple of years ago, so I think they've been doing them as the anniversaries come around. Um, but finally, I haven't had this one in before. Butterfly 3001, not to be confused with Butterfly 3000. This is the remix album featuring all the same songs. Um, but Butterfly 3000 is their newest one, came in multiple languages. This is 3001, $37. I believe this is indie only right now. Uh, kind of a little bit tougher to get. But King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, if you're into psych rock, check them out. They're from Australia, and they're keeping the psychedelic rock and roll kind of going. White Stripes, self-titled? Yeah, self-titled, $31. All the White Stripes records always pretty much in constant rotation in print. Got those back. Bad Brains. I haven't had this Bad Brains yet either. Quickness. $23. I love how they keep their stuff nice and affordable. All right, one, one crate left, guys, and there's some box sets, so it'll go quick. I promise. All right, here's some restock. Rush 2021 back in stock. This is the 180-gram version, $31. I know I get people always ask me about the 200 gram. Those are all out of print, all gone. As far as I, as far as I know, I don't think we're ever going to see the 200 grams back. System of a Down, steal this album. Another record I had in last week, blew through them, got them back, 27 bucks. Limited edition white vinyl of Alice Cooper's Paranormal, which is from does it have a year on it? It 2017, 37 dollars, two. LP 180 gram. Sabotage, Fight for the Rock. Sabotage 1986 record. Repressed, $46, two LP, limited edition, heavyweight white LP, white one LP gatefold with exclusive 10 inch vinyl single master for vinyl. So it's got a white single vinyl and a 10 inch, which is why it's $46. So you're getting a couple little extra there. All right, new Alt J. New Alt J. And it comes in two colors. I've got the Hard Drive Gold. Oh no, Hard Drive Gold is the song. This one's on Milky Clear. This one's probably on black. $26. They're both $26. Um, just so you know, they're it's available both ways. Alt J being a huge, huge band in the store for the last handful of years. Really happy to see something new from them. Speaking of other new releases, I'm gonna skip ahead here and talk about the new Beach House. We got both versions of the new Beach House, $31. This is the 2LP version. Uh, comes with silver edition, classic black vinyl with double-sided poster. And we have the gold edition. Yep, limited edition gold edition. Comes in a box, which isn't that expensive. 55 bucks for a box is not bad. I don't 
think. Uh, colored vinyl, full color booklet and two exclusive posters. And it's got a really nice heavy duty box. It's got gold foil, all the lettering is all in gold foil. Um, a really nice package for 55 bucks. I think that's very affordable. All right, back to some reissues. U2's got a couple out this week. Limited edition cream vinyl and limited edition, I'm guessing red. Uh, doesn't say. Just says colored vinyl pressing. $31. Are they both 31? They are both 31. They are both a single LP, but they seem thick. That's, this one's got a booklet. This one must have a booklet as well. Yep, they both have 16 page booklets inside each one of them. Both hard records to get right now. Happy that you can get them reissued. KG Elephant, Tell Me I'm Pretty. Just a restock, $24. But they've been selling out pretty fast. White Stripes Distill, $31, single LP. Sam Cook, Portrait of a Legend, 2LP, $37. It's on clear 180 gram double vinyl. Gatefold opens up. All right, for you audiophiles, I know you've been waiting for this. Chet Baker on Sam Records. And you guys following along, these Sam Records come from Paris, France. 46 bucks, double insert with photo, 180 gram vinyl. These are really hard to get your hands on. Um, the guy does an excellent job over there in Paris, France. He's getting these tapes, putting these out. Um, obviously, they're not cheap. They're 46 bucks, but you get what you pay for. So they are, they at least, if they're $46, at least you know you're getting quality. Here's another new one. Gritty 60s Garage and Punk Special Assortment. Multi-purpose, $29. And this is an awesome compilation. It's got Butch Engel in the sticks, the others, rear exit, Dutch masters, the shil the shillings, living children, transatlantic train, the poor souls, the sloths, morning rain, beaver and the trappers, the soul owners, morning rain, daisy chain, second helping. Twenty nine dollars. If you guys are into garage records, garage and punk, do check this out. It's on colored vinyl, seventeen tracks. You're getting your money's worth. Neil Young Harvest back in the shop, thirty six bucks. Original Analog Master Tapes. Since, you know, all the Neil Young stuff is now longer on Spotify, you can still get it on good old trusty vinyl. Megadeth, One Night, A Night in Buenos Aires. $48, but it is a 3LP set. Trifold. Megadeth Records, kind of hard to get right now. Kind of, kind of get what you can get. Restock on Wish You Were Here. 31 bucks. Pink Floyd. I got restock on Portishead Dummy, which I haven't had in a little bit. $36 on that. Well, here's a new Grand Funk. Grand Funk Collected. This is a 2LP set. It's, uh, it looks like it's an import. It's on music on vinyl. So it's from over the ocean. 180 gram vinyl, 2LP set, 39 bucks. Not bad for an import. And they got a couple restocks. Oh wait, there's one more here. Oh, there is a Daft Punk reissue of Discovery. I already, I got two in, I already sold the one. I got one left. $31. Then I got some restocks on this My Morning Jacket Okinos, which has been selling like crazy. $74, guys, for a 4LP set. And they're on black and neon splattered vinyl. How cool is that? Neon mixed. They're four uniquely colored black and neon mixed vinyl. And it's got all their great songs on it. That's That's been a huge hit. And I did get restock on the Ornette Coleman Round Trip on Blue Note. Tone Poet box set for one for two thirty one. So that about does it for this week's new vinyl, guys. I mean, that's a lot. That was a crazy amount of vinyl for the week. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Record Store Day stuff is coming. Um, I have a video talking about that. I have a uh, I have a in the bottom of the video. I have the list linked. I have a, a survey link to tell us what you guys are going to be wanting for Record Store Day. We got all that stuff coming up. We have the morning show. We're going to talk about the, the list. Um, that's on Tuesday. I'm digging for MoFi dirt. Uh, not getting a lot. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a MoFi minute this week. Um, if not, I will see you guys bright and early Tuesday for the 10, 1030 a.m. Central morning show right here on the Total channel. Whew. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. See you soon.